we're asked to factor each of the following quadratic expressions, write our answers in completely factored form. So I've underlined some key vocabulary terms and phrases. The first is the word expressions. Each of these A, B, and C parts are expressions, not equations, meaning we're just rewriting the form of what we're given. We're not solving anything. Factored form means we want to write each of these in, I should say, completely factored form, as simple as we can in factored form. So we'll see what that looks like um, as we work through these. So each of these, or I should say this first one, is a trinomial. We have three terms. There are no common factors between a squared, 7a, and 12. So I'm going to use what's called trial and error. I'm looking for numbers whose product gives me 12 and whose sum gives me a positive 7. And because my sum is 7, I'm going to know that my product, all the numbers are going to be positive. So I'm going to start with 1 times 12. And does the sum equal 7? That would be no. The next set, let's try 2 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12. The sum of 6 and 2 is 8. That is not 7. How about 3 times 4? 3 times 4 is 12. 3 plus 4 is 7. So those are the two numbers that I'm looking for. How are those going to fit in up here? Well, I'm going to write down here a squared plus 7a plus 12 equals a trinomial will come from foiling two binomials. That's two sets of two term polynomials. My product factors that I'm going to use are three and four. Everything is positive. So I'm going to write plus three plus four. So see how I have a plus three times a plus four. This is factored form for a squared plus 7a plus 12. I'm going to check by foiling. Very important that we check. a times a is a squared. a times 4, positive 4, that's 4a. Positive 3 times a is plus 3a. Positive 3 times positive 4 is plus 12. So you see where that product comes from equals a squared plus 7a plus 12. So check. So here is my completely factored form for a squared plus 7a plus 12. Let's look at the next one. w squared plus w minus 20. So I want a product that equals negative 20, numbers that equal negative 20. That's this number right here and a sum that's going to be a plus 1. That's this coefficient of the middle term, the b term, the w term in this case. So I want two numbers that multiply to give me negative 20 that add to give me a positive 1. So notice that because the product is negative, I'm going to have to have alternating signs between my numbers. So I'm going to start with negative 5 times 4. That gives me negative 20. But negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1, so that does not give me the sum that I want. Let's look at 5 times negative 4. That gives me a product of negative 20. 5 plus a negative 4 gives me a positive 1, so that does give me the sum that I want. So I'm going to try to factor w squared plus w minus 20 as w plus 5, w minus 4. So let's do a check and see if that works. So I'm going to check by foiling. So here's where the trial and error part comes in. If my check doesn't work, then I try something else. I go back and I look at my numbers. w times w, that's w squared, plus w times negative 4 is negative 4w plus 5 times w is 5w, plus 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. So I get w squared 
negative 4w plus 5w is a positive 1w plus a negative 20 is minus 20, so that result checks. All right, let's look at the last one, x squared minus 36. So in this case, I want a product that is negative 36. And notice there is no middle term, no x term in here. It's missing, so that means the coefficient is 0. So I could technically write this as x squared plus 0x minus 36. That would be the same thing. So I'm going to look for numbers whose product is negative 36 and that add to 0. And really, the ones that jump out are negative 6 times 6. That gives me my product. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0, so that gives me my sum. So I'm going to factor x squared minus 36 as x minus 6 times x plus 6. So you see where each of these pieces comes in. Then I'm going to check my result. x times x is x squared. x times 6 is plus 6x. Negative 6 times x is minus 6x. Negative 6 times a positive 6 is negative 36. This part in the middle goes to 0, so I get x squared minus 36, and my result checks. So here is the fully factored form for x squared minus 36, and I didn't put a box around part B, but this would be my result for my fully factored form here.